So like I said, it's super simple to install. If you'd like to uh, check it out, oh uh, no, no, nobody wants to check it out. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why you're watching. Finish your cereal, go to bed, your wife's waiting for you. Don't look at me, Nate. Welcome back. We're not gonna talk recovery. We're not gonna talk about our soft grab handles for the Jeep. We are not gonna talk about black rhino wheels. We're not gonna talk about fair leads. We're gonna talk about stuff that looks nice. Like our JK, JL, and JT roof locks. Before we cut this open, let's talk about things that look good. If you don't want to look good, don't buy these. Don't buy them, turn it off, finish your cereal. If you do want your Jeep to look good, let's check them out. Let's see what we got. Boom. Destructions. Follow us at a bunch of stuff. Spacers. And the locks themselves. Oh, and a sticker too, I can't forget that. So we built these as we were driving one day and we wanted to get some style inside the cab, not just on the outside. As you know, Rubicons have the red dash. We wanted to match that. We also ended up anodizing them in all the different colors that, uh, or as many colors that, as we can find anodizing dyes for to try to match the exterior paint. This won't help you go through the Rubicon. This won't help you get your friend out of the mess he got into last week. It's not gonna help you do anything. So if you don't like to look good, don't buy them. They look super cool. So aside from the beautiful CNC machining, on the back you can see that we have machined a piece of Delrin to the exact size of the pocket. We are fastening that with two stainless steel button head allens to keep that secure. And the purpose for this is uh, for a nice slick surface that doesn't cause any damage to the, uh, to the rooftop. You have a um, stainless steel detent that gives you a nice positive connection every time you uh, open and close it. And it's super simple to install. So if you want to, let's go outside and put one of these on. Here we are outside and we're gonna show you how to install our roof locks. First, ensure that you have a positive grip on the handle and commence to pull back to unlatch the door. Then stand back to make sure that the glass edge and seal doesn't smack you in the face when you open it. The cool thing is, you already have the tool in your Jeep. Let me move my mess. Next, peek carefully to make sure no items have shifted during the drive. Let's see, where are the tool? There it is. It says Jeep on it. You can't miss it. Like it's literally embroidered on it. There's tools in it. Now we can commence to try to install these complicated roof locks. Once you are safely in the vehicle, cautiously, if you are not a trained professional and you cannot unscrew a single bolt, step away, you might hurt yourself. Remove the plastic stock roof lock from its location. Carefully pick up your new awesome A6 roof lock. Insert bolt into the hole. Carefully, carefully. Easy. Just like that. This one is actually one that requires and can use one of those nylon washers. Um, and you can tell by how much pressure there is when you actually lock it. There's a little bit of movement, that's fine. They will all have a little movement. And the reason you can hear it more is because these are aluminum where these were plastic, the old ones were plastic. But you can feel that the engagement is not as, as snug as your old one. Um, of course, this is plastic. You can torque this a lot more than you can this, which is why we include this little nylon washer. Um, so we're gonna show you the difference between this and with the washer. Once you found you have one that's loose, take this off. So insert the washer onto the shouldered bolt. Install that back in.
When you tighten these up, make sure that the stop is actually inside of its little home there. You don't need to torque these cra like crazy. It's a really small bolt. This is composite. We have the torque specs and the instructions, but a nice snug is all you need. Now you can see how different this is. It's nice and snug. It's got tension. You got a positive lock. And basically all you're doing is you're spacing out that shoulder and uh, putting some soft pressure on that bolt. All joking aside, it's a really simple upgrade. I think you'll enjoy doing it. Now that we've taught you nothing about anything that's gonna help you on the trail, please hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Have a fantastic day. So like I said, it's super simple to install. If you'd like to uh, check it out, oh no, no, nobody wants to check it out. I don't even know why you're watching. Finish your cereal, go to bed. Your wife's waiting for you. Don't look at me, Nate. You're just pissed because your mom buys you imitation Cheerios. Oh, it's just because, you know, we're on, due to budget cuts, we have yeah. an electrical tape. That's what my mom used to do. Used to, yeah, yeah, I hate that. I, I was just always, always, always. So if you want to, let's go outside and put one of these on. I think I looked like a fool when I said that. I am speeding. Now that you know about the roof locks. <laughs> you can see when I do that, right? Yeah, yeah. why do you keep looking at it? <laughs> so they're really easy to install, like I said. You already have the tools. If you want to try it out, let's go check it out. Let's go put it on. <laughs> what did I do? I didn't like it. I didn't like it either.